Hi, I'm Garwood Whaley. I wrote Rhythm Reading for Drums, Book 1 and Book 2. I wrote this book to help uh, band directors and percussion instructors with their young students. Um, I spent a lot of time studying band methods, the standard methods that are being used, so that this book would move uh, at, at a pace that was uh, equal to the standard band methods. Um, let me tell you the topics that are covered in this book. We talk about counting, foot tapping, sticking, rolls, dynamics, musical terms and symbols, rudiments, time signatures, flams, and drags. At the end of the book, there's a graduation solo, which incorporates all the uh, elements that are contained in the book. There's also a list of standard rudiments. Um, each page is uh, set up as follows. On the top of the page, there is a uh, written description of something new for each lesson. Uh, different kinds of repeat signs, musical expressions, dynamics, and so forth. That is followed by four eight measure exercises. Each exercise begins with a rhythm that is then repeated for eight measures, but it's written out. There are no repeat signs. <clears throat> um, that gives every student the ability to really uh, focus on that particular rhythm. On the bottom of each page, there's a solo. Solo number one for page one, solo number two, and so forth through the entire book. There are over 30 solos in the book, and what student doesn't want to play a solo? It's a real motivating tool for students, but it's an analytical tool for teachers because they really get a chance to see if the student has absorbed the material from that page. Um, as I said, the book moves very slowly, uh, and it's really perfect for beginning percussion classes, uh, private instruction, or as a band method supplement. So I hope you'll give this a look. Uh, you can check it out on our website or at your local music dealer. Uh, I think you're going to like it. it I think it's a, a book that is really going to help uh, those younger students. Thank you very much for watching.